go five for five three days in a row. I don't think that's going to yeah. happen. And Matt could use another one for a, another multi-hit game. Chang Young Lim. Chevy calls to the bullpen. ERA is near seven in his five appearances. Cubs have a lot of names we haven't seen before on this roster. Trying to get a look at some of the players that were in their minor leagues. About the Cardinals handling a lefty that they hadn't seen before. Rayleigh gave up three runs in his three innings of work after the Cardinals were pretty tough on the first left-hander, Travis Wood, in the first. A three spot there. And then played prior to joining the Cubs, he played the last 17 seasons professionally in Korea. That was for 96 to 07, then in Japan. The 2008 through 12. Second oldest pitcher since 1901 to make his major league debut with the Cubs. Here's a 1 0 pitch to Carpenter sitting on 199 hits. He made his debut and then was 37 years of age, three months and four days. Experienced. And he has the Almost classic motion that we've seen from pitchers from Korea before. Kind of, I'm going to pitch. No, I'm not. Uh, okay. Now I'm ready. It's a pretty classic style, and you'll see it. We had a chance to play against the uh, Korean national team. And I lived up in Alaska and played in the summer league team there. And, and all the pitchers were really taught the same way. Kind of just a way of just kind of making sure you stayed back long enough. And he's back all right. <laughs> 2 1 pitch inside to Carpenter. The other thing that we noticed of all the pitchers that we faced is they all would play long toss for about 30 minutes before they would do their bullpen to get ready for a game. I mean, it was long, right in front of the dugout. And I used to see some of the Asian teams that uh, when their pit took their pitcher out, the starter out, he'd throw down the bullpen until the game was over. Good rip, foul back. So Pujols had 200 plus hits in 2003. In 212 that season. And Carpenter one shy of 200. It's already going to be a good night for Matt Carpenter. But how about that 200th hit? Make it very special. A 3 2 pitch. Hit out of play. Usually when Matt has one of these extended at bats, it ends up good for him. Seventy-eight RBIs. Three two on its way. And Carpenter draws a walk, so patient. On base for the third time, two walks and a single tonight. Here's Shane Robinson, a fly out first time up. Two O pitch.
One thing you dream of is being on the mound to clinch an important game. And you wonder if that's going into the thought process of Mike Matheny as he gets Trevor Rosenthal loose for the ninth. Almost as if he's trying to prepare him for big moments. Get used to those big moments. Looks like he'll pitch the ninth. That's what four and four in the last five days. Four appearances. Two two. And it swung on and missed. You now the Cardinals have including tonight three games left here at home. They have 51 wins at Bush Stadium. Previous high 52 in 2010 here at Bush Stadium three. Home runs tonight. A couple of those. David Freeze in the right center. Nissan drive of the game. Matt Holliday would go down to get one. Puts it in the Cubs bullpen. It's added up to 10 hits tonight and a seven run St. Louis lead. Fastball to Holiday. Take it for a strike. Clinching with style. Cardinals have been walked seven times by Cub pitchers. And a hit batter. And no walks from Cardinal pitchers and 11 strikeouts. There's style for you. Doing it right. Series is a solid 10 as far as feelings are concerned. But when you win a division with guys you've been playing with for six months, I'm going to call that a solid eight in terms of how that rates. I mean, it's just a big accomplishment. Cardinals are three outs away from doing just that. If we get to the get to the ninth, you worried that this eighth won't end? I'm worried it won't end. I think eventually it will. But there is some rain in the forecast. Well, I mean, if he throws a few strikes, Tomorrow. it might end. Take it low and outside by Holiday. Three and two. The Cubs will have Navarro, Sheerholtz, and Sweeney do up looking ahead to the ninth. Always intrigued about what players do, how they enjoy the moment, what they say after the game, and we'll have that for you, assuming the Cardinals can get this done. You know, Ricky, every time we listen to an interview by these young players, they say everything perfect. They really do. They really <laughs> Say everything. They're complimentary to the opposition. They pay respect to the history of the game. They do everything the right way, and that's really refreshing. There's some training going on in that. Yep. That starts early, and you and I both had teammates, and we won't name them. That when there was a microphone in front of, in front of them, you kind of cringed a bit until they were done. There's some broadcasters, I. Uh, Feel that way about too. <laughs> yeah, actually, we, <laughs> I didn't mean us. It Dan, wasn't but you, Al. <laughs> you give me that dirty look. Come on. It was Ricky. Uh huh. <laughs> He's happy to be here. <laughs> give it 110 percent. You got it. This could be a double play. Castro steps on the bag, and that will send us to the ninth. 44,000 have stuck around. You know why. Three outs away from a clincher. 